Hey Earth Signs, welcome to Queen Air Bender Tarot. Today we're going to do your general energy read for the week of December 23rd through the 29th. Keep in mind these are general reads and they cannot possibly apply to every single person watching. But if you need a personal reading, the link is in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel and returning people, thank you for watching as always. I ask you to continue to like, share, and subscribe. In case you're new, I also want to let you know I charge both decks with Crystal Organite Pucks. In doing so, it charges, balances, and aligns and raises the vibration of the deck. Also, I charge it on top of your own personalized astrological sign card. So, again, this reading is for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising people. We won't do Venus because Venus is love energy, and I just do specifically love reads every single Wednesday. Now, that's not to say that I won't, if I pick up love energy, I won't read it. Because actually, when I was meditating, I did. But I'm just telling you, I do specifically, you know, love readings on Wednesday, Okay. Um, I'm an intuitive reader. I read the traditional sense of the card, but more than anything, I read the message that I get for you guys intuitively. When I was meditating over your deck and over your cards and, um, you know, your Zodiac cards and the energy, I heard two songs and you guys are the first ones. You actually are the last reading of the day, but you guys are the first ones to get two songs. The first song is I Love Your Smile by Shanice, Shanice, S-H-I, oh, S-H-A-N-I-C-E. So if you don't know the song, put it in the search engine. Again, I Love Your Smile by Shanice, S-H-A-N-I-C-E. And then the second song was I'll Be Around by The Spinners. I literally had to put the lyrics in that I heard into you, into the search and then find out the um, group name because I didn't even know the group's name. I know the song is an older song. You know, it's probably a little bit older than me. But I heard that song, and I know that song has a strong meaning to it because that's not a song that I fancy. That's not a song that I even listen to at all. You know, you hear certain songs in passing. I don't listen to that song. I don't even know every lyric of the song verbatim. All I heard in my head was the tune of the song, and then I heard the words, whenever you call me, I'll be there. Whenever you need me, I'll be there. I'll be around. So you would know how this ties into your um, into your reading. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Temperance card in reverse. You guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius, someone rising Venus person. Doesn't have to be. I'm going to turn it upright for imagery. It could be somebody who is um, was in a state of waiting at one point, and they've become impatient. I feel like they've become impatient because it came up in reverse. Okay, I'm going to turn it back upside down because the cards are all there's a variation of the scene. Okay, as I part of the deck to show you guys. There's reverses and there's upright cards, okay? So it's not that I'm choosing to turn it a specific way, so I'm going to keep it as it was. But you guys could be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Person, or this could be you, okay? Because we know that the Queen of Swords is about somebody who is going to cut through the bullshit and who's going to tell you exactly how they feel about something. And then so maybe somebody who's either telling you or you may be telling this person that you're tired of waiting. You're tired of waiting for them to make a decision about a relationship. You're tired of waiting... You would know what situation this is. Let's pull some cards for you guys. We're going to do two cards. One is going to be your general energy and one is going to be a possible outcome. And then we're going to do two clarifying cards. You have the world upright and then now you have the queen of swords in reverse. Somebody is not speaking their feelings about. Yep. And you got some resistance. You see how this is blocking? You got some resistance. And I just said that somebody's not speaking their tongue because at first it came upright. That um, Queen of Swords came up right, but then when we shuffled it, it came up in reverse. Somebody's not speaking their mind about how they feel about a situation. Maybe because they feel like it's going to lead to conflict because you have the Seven of Wands up right. And then you have the Chariot in reverse. The Chariot in reverse is about not moving forward. That makes perfectly good sense with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody feels like there's not either that. They could feel like there's not forward movement. There's not going to be forward movement. Or, you know, there's conflict. Because we're looking at this, this man is looking in the direction of the chariot. And even though she's upside down, upside down, she's looking in the direction of the seven of wands. There's some type of conflict. There's some type of conflict that's leading to people not speaking their minds. Look at this. Resistance, resistance. There's there's people not speaking. And I just seen the five of swords. There's people not speaking their mind because they're trying to avoid conflict. And then you have the seven of of wands upright again and then you have the will of fortune in reverse somebody is not speaking their mind and then look at it he's looking in the direction of this this um will of fortune in reverse somebody's not speaking that and you know what i'm picking up first of all this is a wands card okay that's fire and then in this card you have a lot of fire sign like fire colors 
So there's somebody, you guys could be dealing with a strong fire sign energy. Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus person. There's a lot of conflict because somebody's not speaking their mind because they feel like it's going to it's gonna cause some type of arguments. And I just seen the Five of Swords again. I just seen it again. Somebody feels like if they speak their mind about a situation that they're going to lose this person. And it's so funny. Oh, my God. Okay, so when I was just shuffling, I seen this card. It was upright. And now you have the Seven of Cups in reverse. Somebody feels like somebody may have been playing the field. And I feel like that may it just may not be true. Either that or the fact that, like I said, you there's somebody who's not making a decision. That's what I'm picking up more strongly than anything. Somebody's not making this, a decision about something regarding a love relationship. And I'm going to say it's about a love relationship because it's a Cups card, okay? So let's get two cards. One is your general energy and one is a possible outcome. And I don't know if I said it in the beginning because I was saying, so I was channeling messages. So I wanted to make sure I got those messages. I hope everyone's doing well. You have the seven of pentacles. Hesitancy. And you know, this is, in this reading from the images, I'm picking up, there's some sense of hesitancy. And I'm going to say again, because you see how many times I tried to shuffle and there was resistance. And you see how she's looking? I always say with this card, there's a ladder. She can climb up on that ladder and pick as many pinnacles as she wants. She has no pinnacles inside of her basket. She has her hand out. She's not even trying to reach it. She's kind of, you know, has her hand like, uh, I don't know if I want to do it. And this is you guys, okay? Because this is a pinnacle energy, which is you guys. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. There's a sense of hesitancy. Um, up under that, because there's too many cards, so I'm not going to take it. But I'm going to take this as an underlying energy. You have the Six of Wands. And then you have the King of Cups in reverse. And what I said I've seen this. You have the Ace of uh, the Ace of Cups. You have the Hangman. Three of Swords in reverse. Three of Cups. Okay, there's a lot of Cup energy you guys could be dealing with. A water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, people. I know this isn't meant to be your possible outcome. I know that for a fact. But if you think about the song, the songs that you know I heard and that I channeled, I'll be I'll be around. I'm picking up that there there could be some type of victory with this person, but I'm also picking up that this person is iffy because you see how she, she looks iffy. She looks like she doesn't know whether or not she wants to take this pinnacle. She looks iffy. Somebody is iffy. It could be the other person, but I feel like it could be you because this is an earth sign card. You could be dealing with somebody with strong earth sign placements too, but somebody's feeling iffy, but somebody wants a victory. How, how does that work, guys? Okay. Let's get a possible outcome. What is the possible outcome for our seven of pentacles upright? And both cards came upright. What is our possible outcome? Yeah, and then, and it's somebody that you're taken by. Because, like I said, with the shiny song, I love your smell. It's somebody who just really, it didn't pop out. It's somebody that you have a lot of love and admiration for. And you and this person, you or the other person wants a victory. Okay. And I know it's somebody specific because you have all of these figures right here, and all you can see is their outlines, the black outline. But you can see this person clearly. Even though their back is facing us, you can see their whole, you know, their makeup, their outfit, the hair. All these other people in the audience, you can see just the outlines, but there's one person specifically. So you would, you, with that being said, you know who this person is. You know who this person is that you want this, um, you want this victory with. There's a specific person you want victory with, but I feel like you or this person are iffy about it. Oh, we have two cards fly out. What do we have? <laughs> the ace of cups again so I, i'm gonna take that because i feel like that that's that's definitely meant to be and then you have the ten of pentacles in reverse we're gonna put this to the side because that's also underlying energy and if you see how we just shuffled and we've seen that somebody definitely wants this love energy with you but there's this sense of iffiness because this is how this is your general energy this is your main card and this is your possible outcome and they both came up right so i'm showing it to you as it would be on the table this person, and I'm feeling like this is your energy, is iffy about this love offer. Because you see, she's facing this Ace of Pentacles. She's facing this Ace of Pentacles. But she's iffy. She's not even reaching out to, you know, take a chance. Or she's worried about taking a chance. And I know that because you got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Again, this is your energy. So you, you're the one who's feeling iffy about this situation. You're feeling iffy about it being a victory. 
at the bottom of the deck you have the empress okay uh i pick up taurus aries vibes aries strongly again like i said you guys could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with strong fire sign placements it could be somebody with earth fire fire earth in their chart okay and then as i part of the deck so i could shuffle we have the knight of swords i i said earlier in the reading that we were looking at the cards that there was some somebody again okay a lot of sword energy somebody doesn't want to speak about something because they feel like it's going to cause some type of conflict somebody i feel like it's you because there's resistance with you you know and then the pinnacle card is in reverse the ten of pinnacles is in reverse i feel like it's you you're not speaking your mind about something because you feel like it's going to cause some type of conflict it's almost like you're you're trying to keep the peace but you're not happy and i know you're not happy because you look at how she's looking she looks very hesitant she doesn't look like she's trusting of whatever it is that's going on around her she doesn't look trusting okay I, this is you you this is the earth sign for for people who this reading applies to this is you guys okay you're not trusting something that somebody is trying to offer you but i'm gonna tell you something what you have in this ace of cups we know the aces are about gifts from god right so if you have some type of hesitancy about a person because they may have been shady in the past or done some things that weren't so trustworthy I feel like this person has turned a new leaf, okay? But I feel like this person could also be a little arrogant, okay? And then I would I don't think I mentioned that, but then we have a wands card again, right? The six of the six of wands, that's a fire sign. So you could be definitely dealing with somebody with strong fire sign placements. Most definitely. Yeah, somebody somebody is feeling like they can't trust an individual. And I just seen the sun card. So you guys could be dealing with somebody with a Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise of Venus. You don't feel like you can trust this individual. Okay. Let's, and then at the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Cups. You got the Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups energy. Okay. Somebody wants to offer you something, but it's almost like just based off the song, I'll be around. It's like this person is <laughs> Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This person, you feel like this person is come and go there's a lot of come and go energy i'm picking up for you guys and it's interesting because as i see this six of wands he's on a horse we know the horse is about movement and it's almost like this person is always coming and going and they love attention yeah that's what i'm picking up this person loves attention and that's why you feel a little hesitant because you kind of feel like i don't know if i could trust this person and then we also seen a seven of cups when we were shuffling earlier so i feel like you don't know if this person is just all about you you and them specifically. That's what I'm picking up for you guys. Let's get... Look at this. Now now everybody wants to speak. Let's get a clarifying card. Look at this. <laughs> Let's get a clarifying card for the Ace of Cups upright. So far, the energy... Wow. Okay. At the very top, you see what we got here. Very top, the devil. Leo. Judgment in reverse. Uh, again, strength card Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and we and I told you I just seen the Sun card, right? Also, this could be you needing the strength to see through some preconceived notions about a situation, right? But I'm gonna tell you something. With me saying that, I feel like you you have seen through some situation. You have seen through something because with the Devil card, but this could also be you, right? Because until the Devil card is Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, so this could be you. But with this specific reading, I'm this could be you as a Capricorn Earth sign, but it's this is all definitely an energy. There's strong, there's strong love here because this is clarifying the Ace of Cups. There's a strong love here. But okay, let's let's start from the beginning. You have the um seven of pentacles. Okay, like I said, what I'm picking up from this card with this reading with the cards surrounding it, not just the traditional sense, but the energy that I'm picking up with the cards around it. There's somebody feeling a sense of hesitancy. This is you. You feel hesitant. And I know that <laughs> because you have the ace of pentacles in reverse. Again, the ace, you have two aces in your, in your reading. Okay. You have the ace of cups and you have the ace of pentacles. Your ace of pentacles in reverse. This is you. You are hesitant. You see how upright they're accepting this offer. They're holding on to this offer in reverse, which is how it came out in your reading. If you had something in your hand and you put your hand upside down, it's going to fall. It's, it's like you're just like how she's doing. Her hand is not completely grabbing its pinnacle. You're, you're not, I feel like you may have rejected somebody's offer or you're not, you're not speaking to them directly. Cause we've seen a lot of swords cards too, 
which is about communication, right? You're not speaking to somebody about an offer. And what I'm also noticing is she's looking in the direction of this Ace of Pentacles. This is you. You're There was resistance when we were shuffling. You are resisting. You are feeling like you can't accept this. I'm hearing matrimony, okay? And I'm saying that because every time I see this card, I'm being drawn to this little... Um, I always say gazebo. I can't think of what you call it. But there's like, you know, when people get married back in the days or in the, in the country or in the down south areas, something to the nature. I always think of North Carolina when I see this. I don't know why. But that could have some resonance with you. I'm looking at like they used to get married under these little gazebos, right? It's in reverse. So you could have been in a relationship with this person already, a long lasting relationship, even a marriage. And it's kind of like you're ready to let it go. Because like I said, when I see this, and then look at how you have these like little spikes around him. That's almost giving me an energy of action like you're dropping and letting it go. That's what I'm picking up for you guys. But I feel like this person, whoever this other person is, because this isn't your energy. Whoever this person is, they want to offer you something solid and secure. Or, or they want it to seem solid and secure. And I'm saying seem because you do have the devil card with this. Your devil card is clarifying the ace of pentacles now here's the thing with the ace of pentacles again this is the aces are always gifts from god gifts from the universe right and then it's paired with the devil card what i'm picking up is that you really don't it's either a you really don't trust this person right or b this is something very it could be karmic because the devil is also about karma right and then and that's not always with everything but with these cards right this is about some karma. This could be a karmic relationship and you guys feel, you feel bound to somebody, but you're not very trusting of this individual. But with these two cards together at one point, you, okay, so now I'm picking up intuitive messages. At one point, this could have felt like the love of your life and you could have felt like it was a gift from God, but now you feel like this is some type of karmic energy is heavy. I don't like it. Okay. And then the other cards that fell out that were supporting because like I said, I only do two cards, but these cards popped out. They wanted to be heard. They wanted to be read. Somebody wants a victory or somebody felt victorious at one point. But now it's like, no, that you're not feeling it anymore. Because the Ten of Pentacles upright is about, you know, of overflowing, an influx of abundance. You know, that's your home life, your finances, emotional security, stability. It's popping up in reverse. When you have that with the Seven of Pentacles and then the Ace of pentacles in reverse this is your energy all over your own reading which is a positive thing because it's your energy but all the most powerful cards are in reverse which lets me know that i feel like you're over this situation because you feel like it's toxic because the first thing i think about most of the time when you have a, a lot of reversals and then you have the devil card upright you have uh, quite a few reversals and then you have the devil card upright whenever i have that like that is letting me know that you, the first word that comes to me is toxic you felt like the situation is toxic. At one point, you felt like this was a gift from God. At one point, it felt very divine and it felt like it was positive. You're feeling like this is toxic and you're ready to cut this thing short. And I'm going to tell you something. I know earth signs. I'm a Taurus moon, Taurus mercury, Virgo rising. And I'm going to tell you right now, when we are done with something, we are done with something. We cut it off. And I feel like you're in... Um, with this, what is it, the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like you're in a state of getting ready to cut something off. You may possibly be cutting somebody off. But I feel like, you know, with this Devil card, I really feel like this person is trying to... Because now I'm picking up messages, and this could be different messages for different people. With this Six of Wands and this Devil card, I feel like somebody could really be making you think that they've changed and that they are, you know... Trying to have some type of positive victory with you. But I feel like you're like, no, this this feels toxic to me. Again, this could be a Capricorn card. But again, just think about all the cards that came together with it. You can't just look at just the traditional sense of the card. You have to look at every card that's surrounding it. You feel like this is toxic. That's what I keep hearing. You feel like somebody is toxic and you, you're ready to cut ties with this person. Because I keep being drawn to you know, these chains. And it's interesting because right now you have these chains around the, at their necks and my throat feels very, like my throat chakra feels sore a little bit. And I'm not sick at all. I don't have any, you know, I haven't been sick at all. So I feel like, and, and that even ties into earlier with those sores, cards that kept popping up when we were shuffling. There's some communication that needs to be had between people. You may even just be staying 
okay? Because she looks she looks like she's familiar with these surroundings. You could be standing in a situation, but at the end of the day, I feel like you don't want to be there. There's there's so much hesitancy and resistance here, okay? So Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. As always, I'm going to ask you to continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.